Every year, we gather to honor the legacy of Dr. King. We honor his struggles, we honor his triumphs, we honor how he stood up to racial injustice. We honor how he fought to bring America one step closer to her founding promise of equality. Dr. King was the heart and the hope of the civil rights movement. His dream both shocked and touched the very soul of this nation. And that is why America was nearly torn apart when he was tragically taken from us. Over time, America realized that the killer could kill the dreamer, but he could not kill the dream. The killer could kill the fighter, but he could not kill the fight. Over time, more people found their place in this fight. And today, we are the heirs of Dr. King's dream and soldiers in his fight for justice and equality. And make no mistake, this is a fight. As we speak, our government is shut down for one reason, so that the President of the United States can fund a monument to hate and division along our southern border, so that Americans can talk about anything other than the President's own failures. This is the old divide and conquer strategy. The goal is to turn hardworking people against other hardworking people. The intent is to promote fear and hatred. Enough is enough. It is time for Donald Trump and the Republicans in Congress to open our government again. Now, Dr. King understood what was behind the old divide and conquer strategy, turning working people against working people. Dr. King understood how it worked, and he understood just how much damage it caused. After he led the march from Selma to Montgomery, he spoke of how segregation was created to keep people divided. Racial hatred was a critical part of keeping the powerful on top. Race matters. Call it out and fight back. The path to economic security is steep and rocky for millions of working people in America. And it is steeper and rockier for black and brown Americans. When we ignore that fact, when we turn a blind eye, then we don't move this nation toward greater equality. And it isn't just black and brown people who suffer. All of us suffer. All of us lose when we allow the powerful to use race as a tool to divide us. We will not stand silently by and be a party to perpetuating discrimination for another generation. <laughs> Call it out. Then make change, real change, structural change, honest change. It comes to us. It's going to take a whole lot of faith, a whole lot of courage, and a whole lot of prayer. It's going to take each of us doing what we can, where we can, to create a better, fairer, more prosperous, and more just America. That's what Dr. King called on us to do. That's what the urgency of this moment requires us to do. And that is the way we will make Dr. King's dream a reality for all. I am in this fight because I am grateful. My daddy ended up as a janitor, but his daughter got the chance to be a public school teacher, a college professor, and a United States Senator. I am grateful and I am determined. I am going to fight my heart out so that everyone gets a real chance in life, a chance to build something solid. And I believe that if we work together, if we pray together, and yes, if we persist together, that we can overcome. It is time 
time to dream big and fight hard and make Dr. King's dream a reality. Time to make our country work, not just for the rich and powerful, but make it work for everyone. Thank you all. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Thank you, Thank Senator you. Warren.